Germany's last ditch weapons of World War II. Late into World War II, the Third Reich came up with some of the most interesting weapons designs of the Second World War, from extremely crude and cheap to mechanically stunning design, which would go on to influence some of the well-most known guns of the Cold War. Germany tried to throw everything at the enemy to try and turn the tide of their loosing struggle against the Allies. The Grossfuss Sturmgewehr, Grossfuss Assault Rifle, the Sturmgewehr 45 Horn, also known as the Grossfuss Sturmgewehr, was a German prototype assault rifle developed during the final stages of World War II by engineer Kurt Horn at the Grossfuss Company. Origin, in late 1944, as Germany faced resource shortages, there was a push to create simpler and more cost-effective weapons for the Volkssturm, the national militia. Kurt Horn, working at Grossfuss, a company previously known for producing the MG-42 machine gun, designed this rifle to meet those needs. Mechanics. The Grossfuss Sturmgewehr utilized a gas-delayed blowback system. When fired, gas pressure from the cartridge would push a small piston connected to the bolt, delaying its rearward movement. This delay allowed the bullet to exit the barrel and pressures to drop before the bolt cycled, ensuring safer and more reliable operation. The rifle was hammer-fired and featured a complex fire control mechanism designed to prevent issues like firing out of battery when the cartridge isn't fully chambered and bolt bounce, both of which could be dangerous given the lighter bolt used in the design. Only a few prototypes of the Grossfuss Sturmgewehr were produced before the war ended, and it did not see widespread use. However, its design contributed to the development of post-war firearms, particularly influencing the roller-delayed blowback systems seen in later weapons. The Volkssturmgewehr, Pfau G1-5, German for People's Assault Rifle, also known as the Pfau G1-5. The Volkssturmgewehr, meaning People's Assault Rifle, was a series of simplified rifles developed by Nazi Germany during the final months of World War II. These weapons were designed to be easily and cheaply produced to arm the Volkssturm, a national militia composed of men aged 16 to 60, as Germany faced severe resource shortages and industrial constraints. Origin, in October 1944, with the war situation becoming increasingly dire, Germany initiated the Primitive Waffen Program, Primitive Weapons Program, to create basic, cost-effective firearms for the Volkssturm. Several companies developed different models under this program. VG-1, designed by Walter, this was a manually operated bolt-action rifle using a simple rotating bolt mechanism. VG-2, developed by Spreewerk Berlin, another bolt-action design with simplified features. VG-3, created by Rien Mintal, details about this model are less documented. VG-4, designed by Mauser, specifics are scarce. VG-5, also known as VK-98. Developed by Steyr, this was a simplified version of the Karabiner 98K rifle. The most notable among these was the Guslov Volkssturmgewehr, also known as Volkssturmgewehr 1-5 or VG-1-5, a gas-delayed blowback semi-automatic rifle. Mechanics. The Guslov Volkssturmgewehr operated using a gas-delayed blowback system. In this design, gas pressure from the fired cartridge acted on a piston to delay the rearward movement of the bolt, allowing chamber pressure to drop to safe levels before extraction. This mechanism enabled the use of a lighter bolt and reduced the complexity of the firearm. The rifle was chambered for the 7.92 by 33mm Kurtz cartridge and fed from a 30-round detachable STG 44 box magazine. It had an effective range of approximately 300 meters. Despite the urgency and mass production efforts, only about 10,000 units of the Guslov Volkssturmgewehr were produced between January and May 1945. These rifles saw limited combat use due to the war's imminent end and the challenges in training militia members to use them effectively. The Irma EMP-44, a crude last-ditch machine pistol. The Irma EMP-44 was a German prototype submachine gun developed by Irma Werke in 1943 during World War II. It was designed as a simplified, cost-effective weapon for mass production, utilizing readily available materials and existing manufacturing equipment. Design and Mechanics Construction The EMP-44 featured a crude design with a stock made of welded steel pipes 
aiming to reduce production complexity and cost. Operation, it operated on a straight blowback mechanism, firing from an open bolt, and was chambered for the 9 by 19 millimeter parabellum cartridge. Magazine system, notably the EMP-44 had a dual magazine setup, accommodating two 32-round MP-40 magazines side by side. This design allowed for quick magazine changes by sliding the magazine well, enhancing sustained fire capability. Performance. The submachine gun had a rate of fire of approximately 500 rounds per minute and an effective range between 150 to 200 meters. Outcome. Despite its innovative approach to simplifying production, the EMP-44 was ultimately rejected by the German Army Weapons Agency, Heeres Waffenamt. Its crude appearance and the concurrent development of more advanced weapons like the MP44-STG44 contributed to this decision. The Sturmgewehr 45, German for Assault Rifle 45. The Sturmgewehr 45, German for Assault Rifle 45, was a German assault rifle prototype developed by Mauser during World War II. It was designed to be simpler and cheaper to produce than the existing Sturmgewehr 44 while maintaining combat effectiveness. The rifle used a roller-delayed blowback operating system, which allowed for a lighter bolt and reduced recoil. This mechanism involved rollers that delayed the bolt's opening until pressure dropped to a safe level after firing. The Sturmgewehr 45 was chambered for the 7.92 by 33mm Kurtz cartridge and had a cyclic rate of about 450 rounds per minute. Although only a few prototypes were made before the war ended, its design influenced post-war firearms, including the Sietme rifles in Spain and the Heckler & Koch G3 in Germany.